Okay, I guess on my hair, she look all right. And with that actually sitting there like this creams, and I had to have them, sis. All fab here. I just had, we're gonna discontinue it, but I had to pick up their book of shadows, honey. The color green makes she fan, expensive breeze, good time. Wise hole, serious? <laughs> What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Torrance here and in today's video, I think I'm about to bring you all my fastest tutorial that I've ever done. Lately, I've been extremely tired ever since I went back to work and even though I love my makeup, some days you just really don't have the time and energy and today I am bringing you all this look here. This is the Just a Tint Kit from the Lip Bar and I'm telling you all, it is three simple steps that I believe almost anybody can do I believe no matter what your skill level, from beginner to expert, this is something you can do with just your fingers and one brush. One brush, honey. So if you would like to know exactly how to achieve the look that I'm wearing, plus what products that I'm using in today's video, just make sure you continue to watch. All right, you guys, it's time to jump into things. As with all tutorials, any and all tools used today will be in the description bar below. Right now, there's nothing on my skin but skincare and lip balm plain, clear lip balm, nothing extra. I know I'm only headed to Target to grab a few things. I think I'm out of like mayo, mustard, chips, because I wanted to make a sandwich, realized I did not have all the ingredients, and I'm like, Torrance, instead of just throwing on your regular sunscreen, because lately I've been trying to heal this mark here, as you can see, wasn't an accident, well, it was an accident, but I didn't get hurt or anything. Went out Monday, went to work, did my makeup, went to physical therapy, got home, was too tired to even focus, tied my hair scarf wrong. It was way too tight and left that mark there. So all week, everybody been asking me, are you okay? Did you get hit? Did you? We're not going through that no more. But I wanted to go ahead and put on something on the skin besides just plain sunscreen, just to give me a little judge while I'm stepping out. And I remember the lip bar had a just a tint kit and I've never used any of them. The first product here is the Just a Tint. This is the three-in-one tinted skin conditioner. It has SPF 11, because I need my sunscreen, I needed something with some SPF and hyaluronic acid. I've added Retin-A back to my skincare routine, so some days can be a little drier than others, and hyaluronic acid is my best friend right now. I'm wearing the shade, well, I'm gonna wear the shade Caramel Delight, I believe in their normal foundation, I'm shade 303. So I usually go for the three o'clock family. With this uh, shade here, Carmel Delight, I did pick up the Quick Conceal Caffeine Concealer. I have it here in the three o'clock shade range in the shade Carmel. So that's the second of the three items here. The third and final item in this kit would be the Set the Tone Finishing Powder. Comes in a compact like this. And I have the shade Golden Girl. Y'all know with that being my favorite TV show of all time, the name really stuck with me. So I'm like, oh, yes. And I'm like, okay, Torrance, we know I love myself a full coverage look. If you go back and watch any of my videos, baby, I cake and bake for the gods. I like to go over the top, but we only run into the grocery store. I'm literally grabbing about three, four items headed back home, and I'm like, Torrance, I just want something to cover that up, something to give me a little bit more. I know most people consider these not to be dark circles, but when you focus in the mirror on yourself more than others, you see it that way. So, we're gonna go ahead, because my best friend loves this, and she told me, Torrance, you can do all three steps in less than five minutes. And I'm like, I could spend five minutes blending everything, honey, so, we're going to go ahead, we're going to trust her word, and if this don't work in five minutes, I'm going to be at work tomorrow, calls on the scene in her face. But we're going to start our clock right here. Boom, she got five minutes. Nothing on the skin, so let's start off with our just a tent, just to make sure we're going to shake her up a little bit. And if this work out, honey, I think this might be my fastest tutorial on my channel ever. And I see most people just take this and squirt it right on the face and then smear it from there. Just because, like I said, y'all, I like me a nice full coverage look. So what we're going to do is apply this here. And if we need a little more or a little less, we can go back in and add that. And just so I don't mess up both my hair, we're going to put it on one finger 
first just to see how it's gonna come off and I'm not gonna lie to y'all this color match is better than what I thought it was gonna be she definitely has some coverage going on because you can see the areas where I've added her and where I didn't I honestly want to go in with my other finger just because I'm just not realizing my right hand is a little easier to get control with but if this is supposed to be beginner friendly and anybody can use or do this I should be able to get this going with my left hand because that's not my dominant hand and still get good results so we're gonna keep using the left finger just because I know she don't blend like the right and so far, honey, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. They call this just a tent. And for me, that's all she's gonna be. But I think for the average everyday woman, she gonna love this for the coverage, honey. And of course, you don't want a harsh line. So you want to blend up to the ears and down past the neck. It's just that the face is where I need the most coverage to cover my five o'clock shadow, honey, and my acne scar. I usually just take what's left over and do that for the neck. And so we're going to go in, get a little bit more. And as you all can see, I've truly built up some real good coverage with this. Baby. Next, the Quick Conceal Concealer. We still got just over two and a half of our minutes left. And with this, we really only want to focus getting the littlest amount right underneath the eyes. This isn't for getting full coverage or anything like that. This is truly just to, con just to conceal dark circles. And I have nails, but we're still gonna go in, press that, and see if she's gonna give us a slight brightening effect underneath the eyes. I like to bring it down slightly here toward the side of the nose, just because I get redness there too. Okay, look at that, look at that. And I really think I would have gotten faster results if I would have used my right hand. But considering the fact we still have over a minute and a half left, and we only got to put on powder, I think she might have been giving it to us. Okay, and because I just have a little product left right here on my finger, we're gonna use that to highlight the inner corner right there. Bam. Look at how glowy and how dewy she is. But honey, that ain't for me. I got oily skin, so I need this to be set. We're gonna grab our set the tone powder. If you have smaller features, you can use your Real Technique setting brush. Because I have larger ones, I'm gonna grab my KVD number 25 brush. And we have about a minute left. And what I want to do is just dip this in the powder. I want to press first. Make sure we don't have any creaser. And just set directly underneath my eyes and the side of the nose. And baby, when I tell you, this is giving a nice blurred effect to the face. I only have about 30 seconds left. And because I have hooded eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of powder up there just to make sure that that area does not crease. And if like me, you have a big head, you can take and do this right here in the very center. I have a five head and by mattifying this area right here, it'll give me the look of a forehead. And we're going to do 10, keep us bow, and we got like five seconds left. So let that buzzer go off. Do 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 do. Baby, that is it. Five minutes, and look at her. Hunty, if you were to ask me, Torrance, can you tell that you are wearing foundation? I can truly tell that there is something on my skin. But when I sit back and I look at this, like, okay. I still see things coming through like I still see my five o'clock shadow here Personally, I can still see that mark right there on my forehead 
But don't she look so blurred that you could barely tell she there? I, oh. I'm trying to step back so y'all can see it up in view, out, like, honey, I am loving this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, test this out. We're going to head out to the grocery store, see how this look. And when we come back, we're going to let y'all know exactly how things worked out for us. All right, you guys, I am back. And let me just tell you, I'm feeling myself in this skin tint kit. First of all, I'm a full coverage girl, honey. I like to cake, I like to bake, I like to layer. My powders, my foundations, my concealers, I like it all. And I really like a matte look. Although I will, you know, put my highlighter where it needs to be to give myself a glowy look overall. Usually my under eye size of my nose area is matte, matte, matte because I have very oily skin and I like things to last all day without touch-ups. So let's get into the pros and cons of this. First off, the pros. Y'all saw me do this whole look, less than five minutes, full face, with my left hand. I'm right-handed, so the fact that I was able to get it done on time with that lets me know that on a regular day, if I'm using my right hand when I'm not worried about anything, I'll get the job done that much faster. My biggest concern was the fact that this looks a little too glowy, looks a little too dewy, and it looks like it's going to transfer come straight off. First off, we're not going to lie and say there is absolutely no transfer. I don't think I've ever tried any liquid, um, what can I say, complexion product that does not transfer if it's not set. With that being said, the fact that I only went in and put just powder right here under the under eyes to keep that from creasing as well as on top, and then right here on the sides of the nose and in the center of the forehead to bring down that dewy look, it looks fabulous, but I would more than likely have to touch up throughout the day. Going to the grocery store and coming right back took less than a half an hour, so that's the look we have going here. If this was off camera and I had to go in a little bit more, because I have a big forehead, when I tilt my head down, you can see there's still a little more due to it, but doing that gives you a much more realistic look to the face and it doesn't come off as cakey or dry by having that heavy amount of powder. But what I would normally do, let's say if this was throughout the day and I had this with me, I would just take this powder, go straight through right here, and just get that forehead area throughout the day just to make sure that my oils don't fight back and this don't come straight off the face. Around the edges here too, let's say around the outer edges, I will put this on right here where my mask would not be. But if I'm wearing a mask throughout the day, anything underneath here, I don't mind coming off because you're not going to see that. But with my nose right here being a little more powdery, doing that to me, I'm good to keep going for the rest of the day. That little bit of powder, we out. So I'm here to tell y'all, Torrance, do you recommend this just a tint kit? Absolutely. If you are like me and although you love your full coverage, but right now you don't have the time, I'm dealing with work, I'm dealing with physical therapy, still trying to keep up with YouTube, trying to save up and get everything ready for this trip that I got coming up in a few months. So I'm a glam girl, honey. I likes to play my makeup. I likes to have fun. And I have way too much of it for me to realize I bought this kit when it launched, but never tried it. And when I sit back and I look at this, I'm like, Torrance, this looks beautiful. It's nothing going on with the brows, nothing going on with the lashes, nothing with the lips, no contour, no blush, no highlighter. It's just giving you nice, glowy, dewy, beautiful, healthy looking skin. And that's what I'm trying to achieve on an everyday basis. Most days I am going for the glam, but on a day like this where I just wanted to step out, hurry up, not be seen and keep going, I couldn't even do it because everybody was saying, oh my God, your skin look nice. Oh, you look what? Baby, people who didn't even know me was telling me how beautiful my complexion looked. So, even though I only have this and I'm going to be using this on the regular, I'm here to let y'all know. I might have to pick up some extra colors and stuff on this because I want to see just how dramatic I can get this simple, just a tint look. But baby, I'm going to hurry up, cut this camera off because I want to get this video up for y'all tomorrow. I am recording this on Sunday the 28th. But I do got some news coming for y'all because it's some updates going on around this place, honey. But 
with this just a tent, honey, I think I'm gonna find it hard to be coming back to y'all bare face because I'm like Torrance. If you can pull off this whole makeup look in five minutes, why you can't do a look every time you do a video, even in just your talking videos? So I know I've been bragging about the lip bar long enough. We're going to put this stuff up. I got one more video to record after this because I want to make sure I come to y'all on the first with my new news. So with nothing else, I hope y'all remember to practice, continue to stay blessed, and until next time, goodbye YouTube.